Let's look at the difference between an atom, an ion, and a molecule. So here's how we do this. If you're talking about an atom, atoms, they're made up of one particle. So carbon, for instance, that's an atom. Or gold. And you can find a list of all the atoms on the periodic table. They don't have a charge, so you won't see a negative or a positive sign after atoms like that. They're neutral. The number of electrons and protons are equal there. And you can't break them down any further, or there's not the atom. If you broke this down further, it wouldn't be an atom of gold. It'd just be protons, electrons, and neutrons. For an ion, kind of similar. One or more, but they have a charge. So you see the positive sign there and the negative sign there. Those are ions. They've either gained electrons or they've lost electrons. And we can have one or more atoms together to form an ion. For example, the sulfate ion. SO4 2 minus. We've got a sulfur with four oxygen atoms bonded together. And that negative two here, that's what makes it an ion. And that negative two goes to the whole ion here. What that means is it has two extra electrons. And ions form by gaining or losing electrons. So here's sodium. It formed when it lost an electron to chlorine. We end up with NaCl. And that's actually going to be a crystal. So this is called an ionic bond, and then we'll have these repeating patterns of NaCl in a crystal. So those are ions. For a molecule, we have two or more, like water or, say, methane here, and they're bonded together. So right here, this is a chemical bond. We're sharing a pair of electrons. This is a molecular or a covalent bond. Same thing here, sharing a pair of electrons that forms the chemical bond. And for a molecule, we have only non-metals bonded together. These are formed by sharing those electrons. That's what a molecular bond is all about. So that's the difference between atoms, ions, and molecules. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.